the son of a railway worker with a fourth grade education, David Blackwell went on to earn his Ph.D. in mathematics in 1941 at the young age of 22 from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. His thesis was on Markov chains. He was only the seventh African American to receive a Ph.D. in mathematics in the U.S. at that time, and Blackwell went on to become one of the preeminent teachers of math and statistics at UC Berkeley, while breaking down barriers for future generations of African American academics. And there were barriers. While a postdoctoral researcher at the prestigious Institute for Advanced Study in Princeton, New Jersey, Blackwell was refused access to nearby Princeton University's lectures and research facilities access that was routinely afforded to other postdocs from the Institute. The Institute's director strongly backed Blackwell, but the university would not relent, and after his one-year postdoc ended, Blackwell took a different route. He worked at traditionally black colleges, ultimately becoming head of the mathematics department at Howard University. Well, it was the leading black university, and uh, if you were a serious scholar, black scholar, you wanted to be at Howard. A lot of my most interesting work was done at Howard. Indeed, even while juggling administrative duties as chair of the department, Blackwell managed to publish 20 groundbreaking papers at Howard, solidifying his reputation, work that C.R. Rao and Blackwell published independently in 1945 and 47, respectively, led to what is known today as the Rao-Blackwell theorem, the theorem, a fundamental concept in modern statistics, was a result which characterizes the transformation of an arbitrarily crude estimator into an estimator that is optimal by the mean squared error criterion or any of a variety of similar criteria. In game theory, he studied the mathematics of bluffing. He also applied game theory as a consultant to the RAND Corporation in the late 1940s, when he developed a theory on the optimal moment for an advancing dualist to open fire. Then in 1954, a visiting professorship at Berkeley turned into a tenured faculty position, only the second for an African-American at UC Berkeley. I came to Berkeley in 1954. I almost came in 1942. But the head of the mathematics department went home and mentioned this to his wife. And she drew the line, as I understand it, her words were that she was not going to have any darky in her house. And it was their custom to invite all the mathematics members to dinner at their house. She wasn't going to have any darkies in her house. And that he needed to change his mind on this. And he came back and reported it to the department and said, I need, think we need to rethink this. And they did, and they offered the job to somebody else. By 1956, Blackwell was chair of the statistics department, where he remained until his retirement in 1988. When he died in July 2010 at the age of 91, the New York Times headline did not mention David Blackwell's race. Instead, the paper led with his achievements as a scholar of probability and game theory. In more than 80 papers published during his career, David Blackwell also contributed to other areas of mathematics, areas such as dynamic programming, measure theory, set theory, mathematical statistics, and including information theory. Blackwell also wrote landmark textbooks. In 1954, he co-authored Theory of Games and Statistical Decisions with Meyer Gershik. In 1969, his basic statistics became one of the first textbooks on Bayesian statistics. His awards included the John von Neumann Theory Prize, and he served as president of both the Institute of Mathematical Statistics and the International Bernoulli Society for Mathematical Statistics and Probability. But there was no greater honor than being elected to the National Academy of Sciences in 1965, Blackwell was the first African-American scholar admitted to the academy. I didn't especially expect to be elected. And I didn't think if I were elected, it would be a big thing. 
So I was surprised when I, get that, when I got that telephone call from the president of the university congratulating me. Blackwell also went on to amass 12 honorary doctorates from the likes of Harvard, Yale, and Carnegie Mellon. Other scientists owe a great debt to Blackwell for his broad interests. He was known for his independent invention of dynamic programming, which is used today in finance and in various areas of science, including genome analysis. He also is known for the renewal theorem, used today in areas of engineering. And above all, he influenced generations of the best and brightest graduate students in mathematics and statistics at both Howard and UC Berkeley, passing along his passion for solving problems with simplicity and elegance. Blackwell is survived by four of his eight children. His wife, Anne, died in 2006 after 62 years of marriage. Mm -hmm.